So, it has been a crappy couple of days. To say the least. <laughs> So this wasn't even meant to be a video, but this is going to be the long story short of our travel day journey from Hat Yai, a city in the south of Thailand, to Lang Kwaui, an island on the west coast of Malaysia. So this journey was supposed to take us around five hours and it was supposed to consist of a minibus to the border, cross the border and then two public buses and a ferry journey, but that did not go as planned. Not happening. <laughs> So the day actually started off really well. We got the bus first thing in the morning from Hat Yai to the Thailand Malaysian border and thankfully we had no issues at all here. The next step was then to figure out how we actually had to cross the border into Malaysia. This part was a wee bit funny. The whole process was actually quite simple but once we got stamped out of Thailand we had to walk to the Malaysian border and to do that we had to walk in between all of the lorries that were also crossing the border but we got stamped into Malaysia no problem at all and the whole process was really smooth because the Malaysian border also just opened recently so we were a wee bit worried about this. Yeah it was definitely something that we were worried about but thankfully we had no issues at all. Once we actually got into Malaysia, the next step was to find a public bus stop in the town called Padang Besor, where we entered into the whole way to another town called Kangar. This bus stop was literally just a yellow tin roof at the side of the road and it was a public bus we were waiting on. But thankfully, we actually found it no bother we were able to get the bus and everything went smoothly, so we thought. So not long after we got onto the bus, we soon realised that Malaysia was an hour ahead of Thailand, which was something we had never even thought of. So instantly our day started to kind of screw up on us. <laughs> Downhill. This meant basically that we missed the next bus that we were relying on getting in order to make the ferry in time because 2.30 was the last ferry running on that day that we were leaving. So we got to the bus station in Kangar where we were meant to get the next public bus the whole way to Kulaprines where the ferry was leaving but we missed that bus because of the time change that we didn't consider. Yeah, so we had to get a taxi at this stage but the taxis are quite cheap so we weren't that annoyed. We Not got, the end of the world. We got to the ferry and we thought brilliant we've done it we've actually arrived on time. And yeah, we soon realized that it wasn't the case. There was no tickets left for the ferry. Owen left me at the side of the road with the bags and he was running around like a headless chicken. What we didn't know was that the day we were actually traveling on was the start of the Malaysian school holidays, which meant everybody was going to Lang Kwai on holiday. So the ferry was completely booked out, full of families and kids, and we weren't able to get in the ferry, which was completely sickening and screwed up the whole day from there as well. Owen was running around trying to buy tickets off everyone and I was over at the gate asking the officials could they squeeze us all. Trying to brave the army here to let us on and everything. There was only two of us but it didn't work in our favour unfortunately. So we literally sat at the side of the road and waved the very off as we weren't able to get on with it. Second in. Second in. We also had no phone coverage or data because our sims were still Thai sims and we hadn't purchased Malaysian sims yet. So this meant we couldn't even look up the next times for the ferry or accommodation or anything. But we went to a KFC that was very close to the pier, scoped some free Wi-Fi and then finally found another hotel online that we were able to stay in that night. It was also completely sickening because we had already pre-paid and pre-booked our hotel here in Lang Kwai. So we then had to get another hotel close to the ferry for the night just because of the situation which turned out to be the most expensive hotel we have stayed in since leaving home and it was also probably the worst hotel we have stayed in since leaving home which was a real sickener. We really tried to not let the day get to us, but we will fast forward to the next morning and we were in much better attitudes and were ready for the day. So we got onto the ferry and everything was looking up. We got to Lang Kwai and it looked absolutely gorgeous. When we actually got to the hotel that we had originally booked, there was nothing they could do for us in terms of missing the previous night. So we had to pay for that anyway, which we kind of expected, but it was a wee bit sickening because we are trying to do our travels as cheap as possible and on a real, real budget as well. So we paid for it anyway. It is what it is. And then we got our key and went up to our room and we nearly dropped at the door of the bedroom. We couldn't believe what we had been given and what we had booked. So what we booked online and what we thought we were getting was this. What we actually got was this. Sickening. Heartbroken. The room was disgusting. I mean, we have stayed in some crappy places and we aren't very fussy people at all. Normally, a half decent bed, an air conditioning or a fan, we don't really care, does the job for us, but this just absolutely took the biscuit. The room was rank. The walls were falling apart. It was stinking of smoke. It smelled like somebody just smoked a 20 pack lion in the bed. 
The sheets and the pillowcases were completely yellow with stains and covered in holes and rips and the room was just completely crumbling. It was rotten. I have never seen the likes of it in my entire life. So we went straight back down and asked could we see a different room yeah. or something else at least. Thankfully the lovely lady at reception was really really helpful and she got on the phone with the boss and we had a back and forth between the boss and booking.com who we booked the room with and eventually after a long long process they agreed to give us our money back for the nights that we hadn't actually stayed yet, but we had pre-booked and pre-paid for. So we got some money back, which was good. And then we were out in the streets yet again with all of our bags looking for a new accommodation. No good. But we were not making the same mistake again. And we went and got a taxi to another accommodation and asked them, could we see a room before we paid any money? So our travel day that was meant to take five hours in total from Hadiai to Lang Kwai took us nearly a total of two days, including a complete and utter shit show with the accommodation that we first went to. And I just, I still just sitting here, I can't even believe it. I just can't believe we got completely catfished by the accommodation. It was brilliant. You honestly wouldn't have put your dog in it. it was be on a joke. It was be on a joke. The, the stains and the sheets, the smell of the smoke, it, everything the best, about it. The best of all was we went down to reception and said to the girl about the stains and the sheets and so on and she was like, yeah, yeah, I know. We wash them but stains don't come out and we just put back on. We were like, well, get new sheets. We then said to her, you know, your photos online are lying. This is not what we have booked. This is not what we are showing online compared to what we gave. She said, yes, I know. We lie online. She openly admitted that they were lying online to get people in. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? And oh, we just couldn't believe it. The whole situation just, it got me so angry. I didn't want to shout at the woman at reception. I, I felt like I just needed to burst. But I just bit my tongue because she was so lovely and she was just somebody that was working there. But I, we just felt like we needed to make this video to make people aware that sometimes whenever you book something, it's not what you get. It's very easy to get catfished. We've had, we've had similar situations before with accommodations that haven't really been what they've shown online, but they've been okay. You've always been able to get by with it. Like it's Completely. a bed at the end of the night. And for us, the majority yeah. of the time, that's all we need. But this but, was a joke. This yeah. was a complete joke. So yeah, so look, the reason we made this video was to show you basically that traveling isn't always picture perfect. It's not always straight sailing and there are mess ups along the way. And you do have struggles and you do have shitty days as well. So we have learned a few lessons from this. Read your reviews. <laughs> like yeah. number one, read your reviews. Maybe book your, your ferry tickets online. Might, yeah. might be worth a shot. And maybe book accommodation that is flexible with changing dates and giving you refunds as well if you don't show up or if you cancel. Because normally we go for the cheapest option, which is a non-refundable option. Because normally we're showing up either that day or the day before. We're very last minute bookers. Very last minute, but we've learned a few lessons this time around. And if you are coming from the likes of Thailand, do expect to pay a little bit dear for the hotels here. They're just not of the same standard as such. Yeah, but, and a um, bit more expensive. Yeah, but it is what it is. Yeah. And if, if anything, we can take away that we need to read reviews, book our tickets and do our research. Definitely. So rant over, we apologize that we had to get this out, but we've been so much better for getting it off our chest. We just needed to get it out and we just wanted to show you that traveling isn't always perfect as well. Hopefully Malaysia, you're going to do a lot better for us because we were really looking forward to coming here. We're so disheartened right now and just a wee bit gutted and it's ripping with the whole situation. Yeah. A bad rough start, but we do have faith. We're hoping to be here for the next month at least. So please get better, please. <laughs> <laughs> and please, if you do enjoy our content and our videos, hang around, check out our Malaysian adventures. Go back and check out some of our Thailand adventures. We spent five full months there and we had a blast. And hopefully Malaysia will be an experience like no other.